Hi everybody, welcome once again to our Low on Health, a game video review, where I go over some of the games I've been playing recently. Um, in this particular installment, I will be talking about Duke Nukem Forever for the PC and Dirt 3 for the PC. And if you haven't already noticed, a lot of the games I'm playing this year are on the PC because of my whole financial situation. I can't really rent from Gamefly or uh, Black Brush or whatnot, so uh, I've been playing a lot of PC games. That's why you haven't really seen my Xbox Live or PSN or a lot of uh, console games and whatnot, like Shadow of the Damned or other kind of console-specific games. But uh, I am going to talk about Duke Nukem Forever and Dirt 3, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever, as we all know, this is our Duke Nukem sequel we've been waiting for forever. Um, we finally got it after, you know, excellent many years of development. I won't even go into talking about that. But uh, I do remember playing the original Duke Nukem 3D back in the day. It was kind of one of those older games, of, like Wolfenstein and Doom, the classic Doom. I do remember playing uh, back in the PC days. Uh, and it was good. It was a fun little shooter and whatnot. So this is kind of uh, the new version of it, the sequel. And man... Not that great of a game. I mean, as a standard first-person shooter goes, it's even kind of subpar by our standards. Um, the weapons aren't that great. And the main shtick of it, I mean, his whole kind of lowbrow type of humor, or just, you know, his, his, the overall style of the game just really isn't that great. I mean, the only thing that's kind of fun about the game is all the different interacting with the environments and, like, all the little stupid things, like, you know, flushing toilets and drawing on stuff and picking up stuff. And just all that little stupid little things in the game um, are fun. But the actual gameplay parts of it start to get just real annoying. It's not just, it's not a fun game whatsoever. Um, honestly, the story, I, it was kind of pretty good in the beginning, but once you get to like the one third point and it kind of gets to the second and third act, you realize it's really just another subpar first person shooter, and it's sad to say. Um, that's all it really is. I can't really recommend it for people, but if you uh, want to rent it or something, it's definitely worth renting and kind of playing a little bit here or there, but it's not a great game whatsoever. And even first person standard wise, it's not that great of a game. I mean, there's definitely better games out there, but uh, it's just kind of, uh, eventually, what, I, what eventually I end up realizing, it was just kind of a sad game to play to see that for all those times, this is what has happened. But uh, moving on here, let's go and talk about the next game, is going to be Dirt 3. Now, I'm kind of a big fan of the racers to a point. I, uh, mainly, I'm just a, kind of play a Project Gotham Racing on the Xbox, because I got that for free. I will say, of course, the hands-down best racer out there right now is Project Gotham Race, uh, Project Gotham, but Forza 3 for the Xbox 360 because of all its community stuff, all the paint jobs, all the different tune kits, and the community it has is really great. Uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit did a really good job of that, too, last year, um, which was really good. That kind of gave me more of a burnout feel. But uh, the Dirt series, I, I do remember playing the first two. Um, I mean, they're basically more of off-road racing and whatnot. Um, so, I mean, if you know what you expect with that, it's, it's, a, it's a basic solid racer. Um, what I do like that it has done is it has the new kind of staple, like all the games have now, with uh, like racing assists, like the guidelines or kind of auto braking, auto steering, or just little corrections. So you can kind of gauge the difficulty to your personal play style, which I really like. If you want to be arcadey and more flighty, you can do it that way. And if you want to be more simish, you can dive into it. But it definitely gives you di varying degrees, not just one, two, or three easy, medium, hard difficulties. But it gives you different, you know, kind of uh, settings to, to play with, and I really like that. Um, I really did like about this. The environments are really good. Like, I maxed it out on my PC. It just like they just really pop, and they were like very detailed. And I just really liked that. Like when I had the visas, like before the races, or even just during the races, it's very fun just kind of watch them. Um, but other than that, uh, the only thing I didn't really like about it, which is a nitpicky idea, but like its menu style design, I wasn't a big fan of. I liked the, the previous one, but uh, it's a good just standalone racer. I, I enjoyed it. Um, it's not my cup of tea per se, like I, I do like the kind of more street racing and whatnot, but uh, it's still a good solid game and, and a good solid game in this series and I really like what they're doing with it. So uh, um, let's go here, uh, it's really kind of about it, those are just the two, uh, two of the games, I'll be doing another video in a couple seconds here, so there'll be another one after this while I'll be talking about two other games, but uh, really haven't been gaming that much, been doing a lot of side projects, but uh, as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.